I found out in, it was either December or January, um, I completed my placement in my final year of uni two, two seasons ago um, and, and really enjoyed it. Um, obviously, like completing that, I didn't, there wasn't at the time uh, an opportunity to stay with the team. Um, so obviously I had to move on and stuff and a bit gutted about that. But obviously um, I, during last season, I got the opportunity to help out the odd time. I got to go to book sevens with the lads, um, which was nice to stay involved a little bit. But being given the opportunity to be that lead medical um, and show what I've like learned during um, my placement there and then in my year between that, uh, yeah, it's really good. Yeah. The way my course works with sports rehab, um, you have to complete a certain amount of hours. Um, so in my last year of uni, one of my placements was with the first team. Yeah, so I was shadowing Bethan, the previous head of medical, um, and basically just assisting her with any uh, rubs, taping, uh, pitch side stuff. So yeah, it was a slightly different season to usual, but it was really good to be involved. So I'm hoping to like develop on that basically this year and enjoy a proper books season yeah I uh, did a lot of placements during my time at uni with loads of different rugby teams but they're not since then in my first year of working I've also been working with um Sale 1861 the women's team connected with Sale FC so I've built on my uh trade there and then I'm also working with like football teams at dance school um at Bolton school as well so built on um what I learned at uni and on my placements there so I feel like this is like the next step. So working predominantly with a team as that lead medical and taking taking on the challenge of working with people or well, working with very talented athletes and being part of their journey onto uh, like basically playing uh, full men's rugby and stuff like that. So it'd be interesting. It'd be, be good to test myself as well. Yeah, so you've got um, the fun stuff or the stuff that I enjoy most. So you've got like the pitch side first aid and things like that. So obviously um, during during games and during training, assisting anyone that uh, becomes injured or anything like that. Um, and then from that, it'll be like assessments and things to work out whether it's just that the rest of that game or whether they can go straight back on the pitch or whether it needs to be then passed on to, uh, well, then moving on to like a, a rehab perspective. So looking at their rehab programs, progressing them through that until they're ready to return to play. Um, so in that way, it's, it's quite a continuum from coming off the pitch to getting back onto the pitch. Um, there's also all the taping and strapping that we do pre-training and games that uh, we have to get done as well. Um, and then also all the boring stuff like the notes and the ordering and all that, all that, that I'll be taking on, which um, I've done notes and stuff before, but like the ordering and taking, taking lead and being um, responsible for all of that is something slightly new for me, which I'm quite excited about. Um, it's like another step. But equally, um, usually, obviously, I did my placement with the team. So we also bring still are bringing in new people to do placement under myself. So it'd be really good to work with people that are coming through the system like I did and developing them and passing on my knowledge and being able to de yeah develop them um, through the craft as well. So that would be interesting because I've not really worked with many students before. So it'd be nice to like progress myself and, and test myself as well, see if I can properly remember everything I learned at uni. The aim is to work in full time rugby at the moment. That's like always been the dream, the goals. So, like like I said, this is like the next step moving forward. I'm hoping hoping that next step will be going up into up into uh, full time work. So at the moment, like I said, I'm working multiple multiple part time jobs. So it'd be nice to be in in one environment with one team. Um, so yeah, that'll be the next step. Whether it's in union or league, I'm not too bothered myself. Um, obviously, there's teams around the area or I'm happy to move but yeah the next step would be that full-time work whether it's with like an academy reserves team a women's team or whether it would be uh with a men's first team so yeah okay so at the moment um I am sorting the first tape order so we're ready for pre-season and then it'll be nice to get in I think uh and it was the end of August start of September I can't remember the date exactly it'd be nice to get in meet the lads see the lads that I know already um and yeah meet the new lads that are coming in uh sounds like we've got a really strong squad uh forming for the season coming so it'd be really good to get to know them all and in in respect to my job working out what I need to do with people what taping is required what's going to be going on during the season for them and then uh progressing from there really it's just 
once you once you get to know the team, you get to know how how difficult or easy your job's going to be, and then yeah, progressing through preseason, going to be fun. Obviously, going away to Holland is uh, going to be an experience, <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. Um, and um, yeah, progressing through a hopefully very successful season.